for me. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll buy it again when it gets back down to 30. No, 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 no don't, don't buy it now. No, we're going to sell it all. Can you hear me? We're going we're gonna to sell it all. occurred between the Fulton and Chambers Street stations. That's two stops before this one. Right. So the train keeps it rolling as if nothing happened. Right. What, it took her that long to find a transit cop? Hey, who are you? He's a reporter, works for Post. Nick Gans, we're all working together to get this guy. Yeah, right. Anyway, once we heard, we shut down. Did you secure the stations two stops back? Got it wrapped up like a birthday present. Good, and no peeking. When can we get this train rolling, detective? Anything? Everything and nothing. You know, that covers your ass. What's your problem? I hate bureaucrats. Bureaucrats? Don't look in the mirror. I try not to. Anti-graffiti metal. Resist the oil and the spray paint. Resist the oils in the hands. No prints? Except here in the window, where we've got several hundred. How about footprints? Just a couple of partials. What else? Yeah, right here. If I hadn't stopped for coffee, I would have been on a different train. It's not your fault. I know that. All right, Jen, so. Uh, where'd you get on the train? At Hoyt Schirmerhorn. I was headed up to 50th Street. At the station, I stopped for a latte. Did you see him at the coffee house? No. How about maybe on the platform? I don't know. What did you do when he attacked you? I just stood there. But it, it all happened so quickly, I, I couldn't believe it. So much for taking kickboxing. We have a description from the previous attack. <gasps> Excuse me. From the previous attacks, does this man look familiar? Well, yes, that looks like him. It also looks like the Unabomber. Did you get a good look at him? Yeah. He was thin, sandy brown, a pointy beak nose. How tall was he? I don't know. And he had me pinned. You know, he had a knife, something. Did you see what he was wearing? Yeah, he was wearing uh, dark clothes and a uh, hooded sweatshirt. He was panting at me. He was panting like a dog. On the train, ignoring all those blind people trying to sell you a keychain, you learn not to see, you know? Well, what'd you see when you weren't in the zone? He was on her and gone. You noticed him before? i just gotten on. Will he get on with you? I don't know. You get a look at him? He's white, shorter than I. How tall are you? I'm 6'3". So, uh, 5'10". You look at his face? No, he had a hooded sweatshirt and a heavy jacket on. What kind of jacket? Navy. Like a peacoat? Well, I was Air Force myself. Yeah, I guess you could say it was a Navy peacoat. Uh, what about his pants? His what? Pants, his pants. Dirty. Drips, streaks, like a painter. I remember thinking, I don't want to get too close to that guy. I don't want paint on my coat. Did you notice him before he was on her? No. So he's on her, and uh, you're worried about your coat? 
So what's the problem? I mean, you put decoys and ghosts on the trains, and you look for pervs like you look for pickpockets. Now, why aren't you requesting to have transit cops on every train and installing security cameras in each car? I mean, hey, get with the 21st century, right? We are. Next year. But all the computers in the world are not going to stop some guy from sticking his hand up some girl's skirt. Rape, Greenberg. Not fondling, not petting, not unwarranted advances. Rape on your subway, remember? We got a witness who saw paint spots on the guy's pants. All right, so he's a painter, construction maybe. Does that narrow our list of priors? We've been looking into it. We found a plaster with three priors for flashing. Unfortunately, he lost a fight with a 44 last month. <sighs> Hardware stores, uh, paint supply, the subway stops. What's on the block? Yeah, I'm all over it, Captain. All right, very good. Now, this latest victim, the complaining witness, how does she resemble the other victims? They were all women wearing skirts. Women wearing skirts? Is that all you got? Women wearing skirts on the subway. They're all uh, different ages, different races. OK, what about body types? Big, little, does he overpower them? Uh, well, he uses a knife. Yeah, but it's safe to say that's part of the thrill for him, overpowering them. Yes, it's safe to say that. OK, I understand your resistance, but I was sent here to offer any psychological insight that may help you get this guy. And believe me, we're over the moon to have your help. So, what are your psychological insights? On this guy? Well, he's a dog. What gets him off is the hunt. Maybe he gets on the subway when he has an hour free. Maybe he rides around all day until he finds the perfect victim. You make it sound like foreplay. Well, to him it is. And with this kind of guy, you can't plant a decoy because he doesn't have a type. So we wait. We wait. Wait's over. The dog found another human fire hydrant. Let's go. What happened? Balls the old lady sees the guy attack the girl, cries wolf. One guy wrestles him to the ground. Another guy pulls the emergency brake between Lincoln Center and Columbus Circle. I walk back in the tunnel, apprehend the suspect. Call me the dog catcher. What happened? Train jerked. I fell against her. You fell? I fell. How many times? How many times what? How many times did you fall against her? She overreacted. Uh, maybe she underreacted. I had one hand on the pole, the other hand was in my pocket. Doing what? I was just standing. That's how I stand. Well, we've got three witnesses that put you on top of her. Train jerked. What you got in your pants there? Pain. Hey. Uh, you stand up for me? Pain from what? Window I did. What do you mean, a window? I'm not sure. I'm a little confused. Yeah, well, so are we. She means you paint houses for a living. You're in pain all day long, right? Now, how do you know that splatter came from a window, right? Right. A window, my ass. Take off your pants, please. Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Can I say something? Well, oh, by all means. I, I want to explain something. Please. When I said a window, I meant a store window. Explain further. I kind of do window displays. Kind of? Window displays, I make them. Huh? So why didn't you say so before? You know, people think it's a little fruity. No, but you're not. No. You like women. Yeah. Yes. No, I mean. Take off your pants, please. You like him for this? Do I like him? What, for this? For the flop sweat, the lack of eye contact, like a kid who's lying about a book he didn't read. He's feeling guilty about something. Well, maybe he's Catholic, feels guilty about everything. Stay standing, the seat is cold, thank you. All right, we're gonna do a DNA check on the uh, sample in these pants. We're gonna match it against the seven other rapes that you did. I didn't do seven other rapes. No, it would have been eight if the old lady hadn't screamed. No, sir, no. There is a pocket missing. There is? You a lefty or a righty? Lefty. Oh, left pocket. Naturally. I don't see what you're getting at. Oldest perf trick in the book. You want some change? You want some candy? It's in my pocket. Only it's not coins or peppermints they find. It's your willy, Bruce. No. I, I keep my razor knife in my left pocket. I must have cut a hole. Where's that knife now? My toolkit. OK, Bruce, we're going to put you under arrest. Well, we'll see how his story jives with the witnesses. Yes,